a roller coaster forecast in just a few minutes. And now the story of a little girl who had to make a very grown up decision. About a year ago, seven year old Macy Collins made a decision that would change everything about her life. Fox 29's Dawn Timoney looks at her most inspiring journey. What if I started a story saying once upon a time there was a girl named Macy and she was very, what would you say? Brave. Macy Collins has been through a lot in her seven-year life. One night when I was spending the night over at the hospital, my dad slept there with me because I wanted him to eat. Really? I like my mom better. She doesn't snore. <laughs> but when she talks about bravery, it's not about the one thing you'd expect, a decision that for the rest of us might have been agonizing. No, nope. quite easy. That decision in a few minutes, but a good story must start at the beginning. When she was first born, we knew before Actually, before she was born. An early ultrasound showed Macy had a club foot, but only an x-ray before surgery to work on the foot revealed she was also missing her fibula bone. So she was like four or five, they decided that she they would start doing lengthening on her leg, so she went through some surgeries. Which were painful, and... Seriously, you want me to say this on TV? The medicine... I think she's gross. ...made her sick. And though she was in and out of the operating room 11 times, her foot never quite touched the ground. And I could only walk on my tippy toes. That's not what I liked. Then Macy hit a hurdle. Blood supply isn't normal to her leg, and so the wounds weren't healing. And so it was at that point that it really became clear that it's kind of the end of the road. With two possible turns, more surgery, with the promise of more pain, but not necessarily good results or... What does it say? The first time I met her uh, was to have a discussion about amputation. The second... Well, he's just not know. saying anything. When it first hit me, I had a tough time holding it back. It felt, just felt so bad for her. He needn't have. The easy part was just cut it out. I don't want it. She sees kids all the time that have prosthetic legs and she's gone to camp with them in the summer. She sees everything that they can do. Even when it was all over. It's kind of cool. I want to look at it. And the leg was gone. There were no tears. There was no mourning it. <laughs> first steps with her first prosthesis didn't look it. Who's going first? Making a game. <laughs> wow with your right foot. Nice one. She did it. A physical therapy. All kids have something that's special about them, but in Macy's case, yeah, she has an incredible spirit. <laughs> Which she has needed. Some people say my leg looks scary. <laughs> what, why would that be scary? I don't know. It's I different to them. It's not scary because it's not. It's not. It's just, it's just Macy's leg. Come on, what are and as you can imagine, Macy was not bashful about throwing herself right back into life. You can dance. She's been waiting a long time. That was the point of all of this, after all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three. There's so much that she's wanted to do. I'm not getting there on this leg. I'm going to get there this way. If the decision to amputate wasn't hard, the rest hasn't always been easy. No, it doesn't feel anything good. The world according to Macy. The toughest choice, what her second prosthesis, more permanent prosthesis, would look like. I remember I had to decide with some, between so many patterns. This is what she landed on, a fabric she chose herself. That would be pretty cute. I draw smiley faces. Does she do that? Becky Lynn Bourne, a certified prosthetist, is making Macy's second leg. Pretty common for new amputees to have um, a couple different sockets in the first year of um, being an amputee just because their leg is changing so much. Within a week of making the case model of her new leg, she's trying it out. Good job. And you get a sense that even for a determined girl, this is no fun. It doesn't feel good at all. Okay, well, I know. Okay, it's going to take some getting used to. Right. And it's hard. But after a lot of work, the new model is perfected. Macy can slip it on and go. And I got a leg and I'm not afraid to use it. I think there are some really exciting things on Macy's horizon.
which is how Macy sees it too. She can pretty much write the ending of her story. When Macy got bigger, she got better. Dawn Timoney, Fox 29 News. Just what a girl. Oh my goodness, what a great